Taking a photo from a smartphone is a common use nowadays. But we often encounter that in low lighting conditions the photos turn, uh, turn out to be that great. So this is a major problem for most of us. Well, I think not anymore. In today's video, we will be discussing about a camera mod from Google that is Gcam mod, how we can install in our devices not specific to only Google Pixels but every other device especially in the Oppo and Realme devices I'll be put discussing about it and it is possible to install in other uh, company flyer smartphones too so I'll be sharing all the links down below in the description box so welcome to our Indom's review let's get started So the first thing will be the link which I mentioned in the description. We will be visiting that link. So this is the website RM Update and it gives the links for the Google Camera APKs. So yeah, this is for Realme and Oppos, but uh, there are Google Camera mod is available for most major smartphone brands like Samsung and Nokia and LG. So I'll be giving the links down below. So after visiting the website, just go down and download the APK for Realme X2 Pro. So that is one of the most flagship devices of Realme listed over here. Download the top version and you will get one APK in your file manager after downloading. So open your file manager, go to downloads and you will find this APK which I have downloaded. So click on it and install the APK and if while installing it, it may prompt like this for security, it is uh, locked. So you have to go to settings and allow apps from this source to install. That's it. And then it will be prompting to install. Click on install. It will get installed in your device. So after installing the app, let's launch the app and I will tell you some secret tricks and settings which will give you the most out of the Gcam mod. So this icon is the uh, G Google Camera APK which we installed just now. And this is the interface we get. We get a, one, a night side mode, portrait mode, camera, video, and in the mode section we have panorama, photosphere, slow motion, and time lapse options. But uh, let me tell you one thing which is not working in this uh, APK version is the ability to swap the lenses like the wide angle lens or the 2x zoom lens doesn't work it just crashes otherwise the rest of the features are working well so let's get on to the settings in the settings you need to put the HDR plus to on you may select HDR enhanced but however I felt that the HDR enhanced sometimes overkills the image quality and also it's a bit of a more HDR than desired so, so the HDR plus option is most balanced and motion is set to auto well you can set it to off it's just like iPhone's live photo so that is there and these all are timers and flash are set to off and ratio always set to full image don't select the white crop and now coming to the settings advanced settings so over here enable framing hints and enable grid type to 3x3 this helps you in framing the subject and getting the focus points at the right spots camera resolution should be at full resolution only and then in video mode enable 4k if you are willing to shoot videos with google camera apk and definitely video stabilization will be turned to on bit rate let it be automatic i have searched with various bit rates but it is not that great automatic works best and now coming to the advanced configurations enable this option hdr plus control and then go to photo section and click on lip patcher and in the lip patcher enable lip patcher okay and uh, now in the tone curve you don't need to enable this tone curve but at the back camera keep everything at default settings 
you don't need to tweak much of it unless you are an enthusiast in camera photography and same goes with the telephoto and wide lens just enable it and then go to back and the next important thing to choose for you is this pixel a auto white balanced in HDR plus enhanced so in this the option I will choose with is IMX586 since my phone camera uses an IMX586 Sony sensor so those of you who have other sensors this will be listed down just go to your cam phone camera specifications in Google you can search you will get it so after that coming down in HDR plus enhanced select the medium 15 frames option this is the best balance between uh, photo quality and HDR amount which is applied and then come down and over here enable astrophotography in low light it will uh, take a longer exposure time and shutter speed so that we can get a brighter image and much better image and also enable this setting to 60 seconds so that means it will be the camera will be turned on for 60 seconds shutter and it will take in the maximum amount of light which results in really stunning and great images and in the auxiliary camera option enable all three so that you can use all the three modes however it is crashing in this version of application i guess with future updates it will be fixed soon and then in the iso exposure time in hdr uh, set it to automatic and maximum exposure time only that is working best here are some photo sample comparisons the before one is taken with the stock camera and after one is with gcam notice the dynamic range is so much greater in the next image also in a low light performance we can see the stock camera could not capture the details and the overall environment well whereas the google camera is excellent in capturing the details and is more bright and vivid in this image also this was clicked with the stock camera app notice the coconut trees leaves are not so sharp as well as the overall photo lacks that clarity it's kind of washed and faded whereas in the next image is clicked by gcam and you can see the difference it's much more sharper it's more color accurate and even we can see the stars which was not being visible in the previous image this is shot with the stock camera app the camera app could uh, capture some details but it was not so good as noise was introduced you can see in the sky portion noise was introduced and the shadows were really dark and it did not capture so much of detail in low light Whereas the Gcam shot is much more cleaner, better and much more well lit overall. Notice in the sky even the clouds are also visible in the Gcam shot which was earlier missing in the stock camera. So Gcam really did excel in this department. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you really got a good insight and it, this video helped it. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon, like, comment and share and thank you guys for watching.